you know, this, is, this has been a very, very exciting event, no doubt. I'll be looking forward to uh, our men's middleweight final later today between Hugo Marquez and uh, Jamie Canudo. As we see Claudia Duvall here stepping into the middle of the mat against uh, Luana Alsgear. Duvall in the white top. Alsgear in the black. Both athletes studying each other. Claudia sits there and Come. then comes back up. Wonder if Luana like gave herself away now. If Luana's gonna maybe double guard pull. Nope. Could have timed that takedown, maybe that, that guard pull. Sometimes people will stand back up from those because they want they want to try to get underneath of their opponent and that's yeah. what I thought she might be trying I, to do. I but. would actually play that strategy to try to trick my opponent into thinking I want to pull guard and then do something that they're not expecting, like, you know, fake a guard pull and follow that with a you know a shot or something. Um, yeah, strategy plays such a huge role in jiu-jitsu. I, I actually like it. I, I like the strategical side. Duvall able to lock her legs here. Even though alsgear has got the knee through the middle here, when someone can lock their legs like that, a lot of times there's a there's a really easy sweep off of that. Well, Ro Roger Gracie made that. Like he did that to almost all of his opponents. He put that knee through. That normally stops a close guard. But your opponent's really got really long legs, then you're able to still keep a close guard. But the problem with Luana has got to keep her weight heavy on her left side. If she shifts her weight, to the right without opening her knee, she might get off balance. So Luana, yes, this is dangerous. Duvall moved for it forward this here. This is really dangerous. Well, she can have her back taken. By the time she squares up with Claudia, Claudia is going to be up. And she may be thinking she may be able to, to to slide that knee through and maybe turn out to a knee bar here, but the position of uh, Claudia's legs here are going to make that really, really difficult. And Claudia's, you know, she's got almost like a, a reverse lockdown here on that that leg as she approaches here to the back side, and a lot of people yeah. use that to take the back. Great position. Well, Luana's got that arm in there, which makes it difficult to transition to the back, but could be happening any second now. Yeah. Now Luana's gotten a, in a bit of bit of a better position here, wouldn't you say, Robert? Yeah. I for a second there, I thought Claudia had something. Luana did a really good job shutting off Claudia, and. She's in a good spot. She's in a comfortable spot. She's a really good guard play, but both still very skilled on top. This could be good for Claudia if, yeah, the risky move for Luana there. And two risky. That counts as two points. Remember, she, even though Luana initiated the aggression, they were in half guard when that started. That counts as two points. Yeah, and Duvall now on top of Alice Gear, who's playing from the butterfly guard. And we were talking earlier about how points can often change the dynamic of a match. Duvall now with an early lead. Not reflected on our scoreboard yet, but Duvall is up 2-0. Seven minutes left to go. Luana's got a very aggressive guard, though. Claudia positioned herself really well inside Luana's guard. She's got to be careful with that Kimura if like, Luana keeps reaching for it. Yeah, what Luana's trying to do is like set up that Kimura, perhaps, and then make, make that transition to an armbar. Claudia doing a really good job defending herself. But Claudia's in a position, I can hear her corner telling her, like, you know, threaten the left side and then pass to the right. But she's in a position where she can actually attack both left and right. And this is a pretty good passing position, Nogi, wouldn't you say, Robert? Absolutely. Where you've got a little bit more control of the hips? Gi and Nogi, I, I use that a lot. I, it used to be my main pass for years. That was my main pass, and I kind of moved away from it for whatever reason. But it, you're right, it works really well without the Gi. And it, there's not a lot of risk. That's my favorite thing about it. Like, you're not really in danger. Oh, this could be two points, Luana. Ah, uh, yeah. That was a tactical mistake on Claudia. She seems to be surprised, but I'm with the ref on that one. It was too close. If yeah. you're going to stand up from someone's guard and you're going to pull, you got to at least wait for your opponent to stand yeah. up, give it a few seconds, and then you guard pull. Because if you pull too soon, it really looks like a sweep to the ref. That's yeah. what it looked like to me. It looked like she was off balance, and she sat. So Luana scores two there, just under six minutes left. And here they are back in that, uh, that Roger Gracie position. position you were talking about earlier, yeah. Robert. So what Luana's got to do here is open her kneecap to the right or stay heavy on the left but without dropping her to the ground because that's how Claudia almost took her back last time. Yeah. Now Luana recovered, 
It's interesting to see what's going to happen now, if it's going to be the same recovery or if they're going to end up some completely different position. Yeah, Luana was able to sit through last time, and in, in she was kind of going for a knee bar. Uh, you know, you can kind of get in that kind of saddle leg lock position from there, but Duval was able to use it to sweep last time. Yeah, I, I, if I were Luana, I wouldn't be too comfortable. She doesn't look like she's in a good spot. Duval definitely has a back take to work with there. She, if she can connect her hands and come up, wow, that seems to be a move she normally, it's not, a, it's not the first time she's there because she seems to know exactly what she wants. Yeah. Luana just did a good job defending it last time. That lockdown looks really, really hard to get rid of. Duval has that, yeah. that arm around the waist there of Alzgear too. She swims that arm on the inside to try to make some room to free up her left leg. Now trying to but, control that backside arm. But that's, Luana went for that knee bar last time and that's how she got swept. And she's really fishing for that, you know, she's really trying to uh, spread and Alzgear does sit back into that saddle position there, so she's in a better spot here, but that is where she was swept from last time. And Duvall looking to rotate over. And Alzgear going for a knee bar here. Same thing. Now maybe switching to a toe hold, and she yeah. does. That's a good toe hold position that there. That could be it. Duvall looks super relaxed there. Yeah. She doesn't feel like she's in danger there. She, Luana did get the advantage, though. She, she has the lead. Claudia could be getting the sweep now. Yep. Now working onto her back here. No hooks yet, but she has. she's working into a better and better position as we go. Yeah, Claudia needs to score there on the back of the foot. Ah, then attack the neck. It's too risky to attack the neck without she's, the hooks. She's sort of high right she's now. She's going to get two points now. That's a sweep. I wonder if the ref is going to give it. Or, yeah, yeah. That's, that's two points. The side refs both have, uh, the side have stood up and the signaled. I think for the second, the central referee kind of forgot that. The sequence initiated from the bottom. Yeah. That is one difficult thing about the IBJF rule set title is that it's not the end result that counts, is where did it initiate. So sometimes the sequence can initiate a minute ago. Yeah. And the referee can't remember. It's not like you get distracted, you know, and next thing you know, you know, that the sequence initiated a minute ago, but you're supposed to remember where it initiated because yeah. that determines if that was points or, or not, and this is a perfect situation. Because she actually attacked Luana's back for a second there, but she did start from bottom, so that's two points. So Duval now on top, working from the back of Al's gear. Three minutes left to go. Duval bringing much of the offense here early on. And this is the women's middle heavyweight division. Duvall now working to sink a little bit deeper, posting out with that left leg, maybe looking to, to insert that leg as a hook. Or sometimes people will put pressure on their opponents from here and then try to dive that knee underneath to take the back. Yes, to pull them up and, and, and sneak yourself underneath their back. Claude in a very good spot here. Just over two minutes left. Luana, I, you know, rewinding a little bit. I think Luana's mistake in this fight has been going for the knee bars from that position. Perhaps she felt that she was off balance, that she was going to get swept, or she might as well go for something. But I really feel that those knee bars, because technically Claudia didn't sweep her. Luana just went for the, the knee bar, which gave Claudia the sweep, right? Yeah, and I'll point out something you said a little bit earlier, partner, which is basically that uh, Luana, you know, it looked like Claudia, this was something that she was familiar with. She knew exactly the positions that she wanted. And, and Al's gear was sort of kind of hanging out in the, the game of Duval a little bit. And it looked like she was yeah. kind of navigating that a little bit. And, as, as, as I'm sure you you well know that you know whatever a, whatever competitors dictating the game they're usually the ones in control in the match. Yeah, absolutely. Very good point. Luana defending the back there. Claudia close to scoring four points. Our Claudia be switching over that seatbelt now. She has both her arms underneath Luana's armpits. Maybe she's used to attacking the neck with the right arm. And that's why she's insisting on keeping that left arm under uh, Luan. Oh, there you go, yeah. I, some people have that habit. They can only attack the neck with one arm. It's not unusual. It goes back to the right hand, left-handed thing. It would have made more sense to attack the neck with the left arm there, but it could be difficult. I, for, I, I only attack the triangle on one side. My, the triangle on the other side is like white belt triangle for some reason. It just never developed it. That's very common in jiu-jitsu. And Claudia with the turtle position there. 
Luana has 40 seconds to turn this around. She's up by advantages. If she can pull yeah, guard and sweep. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Or Even stand back up and score a takedown. She Like right now, she's got a shot. 30 seconds. If she sweeps, she wins. And she's got a nice front and headlock she, here. That's she, two that, points. That's going to be two. You're no, right. no, you don't have to wait, wait, wait. Way Stay too aggressive top. here. She's going for the back. She's no, not in a terrible no, spot here. but she score two there. Actually, now, if she comes to the top. It's, if she stays on top, it's two. All Duana's got to do is stay on top. And I think her corner is saying that. Like, yes. Man, you get exactly. Yes, and they, really that's why they took the Luana advantage back. I for a second there forgot she was about to score two points and moved on to the and back. she's going to steal this match here in the waning seconds here from Duval. And that's going to be it. And yeah, um, she got the advantage at the end, at the last second. And that's going to actually... I'm trying Take to figure out if they've tied it or if uh, no, no, Alvira no. has the, the additional won. advantage. Yeah, Luana, yeah, Luana is going to win here. It was close, man. She, for, I, I really think for a second that she forgot she was scoring two points. She went for the back. And then I think her corner, I think Anna reminded her, no, you'll stay on top, you're going to score two. I, and I, that's... I think you're right. I don't think she was fully aware of the score. Yeah, because the back is right there. You just want to jump on the back. But for competition purposes, these are the situations you, you, you have to be aware of. You have to be sharp on like what's going on as far as the point system. Here's that, here's that action here at the end. Nice. Yeah, she sits to that uh, uh, guillotine, snaps the head down, circles to the back. Perfect. One. The ref's about to give the points. And then, and then she, she attacks yes, the back. she attacks the back. And the ref's like, ah, I'll wait. So, Luana Alsgear, your 2018 female middle heavy black belt world champion. Uh, no gi. Celebrating there with her wife, Anna Carolina Vieira, who just lost in the final. Very close, very disputed match with Bia Mesquita. But they celebrate a gold medal.